happy Monday morning, guys. It's Monday, so you know what that means. It's tag change day at Goodwill. I'm gonna go into this one that I never go in because I'm never in this town. Um, I've been in a few times and it's about 50 50 uh, as far as like finding treasures to sell. So let's go see what we can find. I'm gonna start in the bras this time because last like two weeks ago when I was here, I found five or six athleta bras. So let's hope that the same person donated some more or that there are treasures like Lululemon or Athleta. That's typically what I look for. Um, she Fit is also a good brand. And then just anything, no tags. Those are the things I look out for. And if I find anything that I'm not sure about, I just look it up. So today's tag color is yellow. They're also having a fill a bag sale for 15% off your whole bag. All right, now we're in the shoe department. As far as shoes go, I don't buy for a specific season. If something's worth money, I just buy it and list it. A lot of people, they'll shop by season, but um, if it's something that I know is gonna sell for a lot, I just grab it. It is so noisy up front. I have to go to the back and film and look around back here because there's a lot going on up there, y'all. Even though the store isn't that crowded. Oh, what is this beautiful piece here? Y'all look at this pretty stuff. Ferratelli. Never heard of it, but we'll look it up. I feel like this is a blast from the past, but it's not. It's Coles, but <laughs> look at it. Lane Brent, new tags. Let me see if I can get a tag. 70 bucks new. I mean, it's not the cutest shirt, but like it'll sell for a lot. Sweater and sweatshirt aisles are full. Like people have don donated so much stuff. I guess getting ready for spring summer and if I find something really amazing I always grab it because it'll sell next year you know look at this Who like okay y'all it's a sweatshirt right and I sell quite a bit of quacker factory stuff people buy it up but who would wear this in the summer it says summer but it's a sweatshirt perfect example of new attack stuff that I do not buy Sonoma pretty sure that's Coles yeah um, it's full price, $5.99. I mean, it's just not a good return on investment now. If you're buying it for yourself, great. And I will buy stuff like that for myself if I like it. But as far as like profit goes, you're not going to sell it for anything. Your sweater, new tags. There's no price on it. It says by design. No idea where that's sold, so I'm not going to buy it. So far, I've been through women's shirts, men's shirts, um, shoes, and I haven't really found a lot. This Goodwill does not produce a lot of uh, profit for me, but I come in here when I'm in this town just because it's here and it's the only Goodwill. There is a really good one a few miles down the road that if I have time today, I might go to. Um, it is huge and it would take me, like if I were to look through everything, which usually I do if I go to a Goodwill, um, it would take me about three hours to look through everything thoroughly and maybe four I don't know I usually go and either get busy with like my gig apps and have to leave or I uh, am not feeling it that day I'm gonna look at swimsuits too because it's about to be swimsuit season but I'll go there like today I am feeling it but it's also a busy day for gig apps on Monday so I'm sure that if I got there I would have to leave. The swimsuit aisles are full, y'all. There's like four full swimsuit aisles here. So I'm gonna look through these and see what I can find. Feel to mention that I've been fasting and doing like um, keto for a while now. Um, I lost 53 pounds a few years ago doing it and then gained it back about 20. So I'm doing it again. Um, it's a lifestyle change, it's not a diet. You should always eat that way, but unfortunately I don't. I always go back to carbs. But I'm waiting for 1.30 because that'll be my 20 hour fast. And I'm starving y'all. I'm trying to, one reason I came in here is I'm trying to distract myself from food. And this is like a good distraction because time flies when you're in the Goodwill looking through stuff. At least for me, like it goes by really fast. So, um, I really want to go to chicken salad chick, which is not low carb. But if I fast 20 hours, I also don't feel bad about eating that. 
I get me a croissant with some jalapeno holly and it's delicious. And this skirt, it's lemons and it's got like this texture. Chickwish, have you guys ever heard of that? I'm gonna look it up because I never have. Now I'm gonna look through shorts and I only look through shorts for shorts for myself or Lululemon. Most shorts don't sell for a whole lot. Now I do come across like torrid new tags sometimes that I'll buy. Here are some. What are these? These look like Adidas. They are. See, like, I put my foot in my mouth because these are a weird pattern. And they have the trefoil logo instead of the new one. Um, which I know they use that in the new shorts. But I'm going to look these up. But I'm not picking up. Why am I? They're 3X. <sighs> Actually, if they're linen. Hold on. <laughs> linen sells really well. Let me check. Because they do feel like linen. They're cheetah print. They have side pockets. I'm not seeing a material tag though. I'm gonna put them in my cart and go through the cart later. Hang on. Okay, here's a real example of ones I won't pick up. Kim Rogers to make control shorts. They're kind of expensive, but I don't know. They're just plain. I don't like listing plain things, but they're like just white preppy Bermuda. I guess they're called Bermudas. I don't freaking know. New tags, Crown and Ivy. Um, it says they were. Hold on. I just saw the price. I don't know. I think it said fifty. Oh, forty six fifty. Sorry, at Belk. But y'all, stuff like that just does not sell for me. I can't move it. I always end up taking a lower price. I am gonna put these on the end where somebody can see them if they want them, because they are similar size. They're like a plus size fourteen on the Kim Rogers, and then the ones. The Crown and Ivy are, let's see the size they're 12, so somebody will find those and they'll really like them, but it's not going to be me. Here are some Vineyard and Vines. I'm not picking those up either. That just doesn't sell for me very well anymore. It used to. Sorry y'all, when someone comes down my aisle, I try to stop filming just to be respectful and not be in their bubble making noise, but what I was saying is Vineyard Vine does not sell for me as well as it used to um you know if it's new with tags or if it's like a, a unique piece that has a weird pattern i'll pick it up or if it's half price and it has those qualities but usually i don't here's some new with tag pajama pants from amazon <laughs> they're cute they have little puffins on them let me fix those hang on look through every section even pajamas because there's new with tag pajamas or you can find pajamas that are worth a lot of money, like old Victoria's Secret stuff. Um, the gold label especially. I'm trying to see if I see anything like that that I can show you guys, but I don't. The reason I look in every section, especially pajamas and stuff like that, is because good old workers misplace things. Sometimes I have found so many adult shirts and dresses that are worth a lot of money in the children's section because they saw the small size and they didn't know what the thing was worth. Um, sorry, I had a notification on my phone. So that's the reason I look through every section because that could happen, you know? And I often find vintage pajamas that I've sold for a lot of money. So I don't leave any stone unturned when it comes to Goodwill. Um, Cause there are a lot of variables that go into finding treasures especially looking in sections that you wouldn't normally look in to see if they've misplaced some things because they do they they stock things in the wrong spot all the time and they misprice things and just whatever so but i got a really good batch um at walgreens so i'm gonna have to cut this short today i don't know what brand this is so I'm, this is an old like ugh, look at this thing y'all oh my god I mean, maybe it's new. I don't know. I'd have to look that up, but it seems really obscure and maybe like some sort of private, like privately owned business that no one knows about. Maybe I don't know. It's not very cute. Um, so I probably wouldn't buy it anyway, but I'm sure someone would love it. Their dress section is just ugh, enormous. I could spend an hour looking through just dresses, but. I have to go right now and maybe I'll make it back in here today.
to look at other sections that I missed because I've not even touched the tip. Like, I need to look through all the dresses and toys, home goods. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, kid stuff. What is this? Hold on just a second. Oh, it's Bebop. That's like a department store brand that I do pick up sometimes. I found a really cute dress the other day. Um, it's a long, it's a tiered dress. It has strawberries all over it. And I've had several watchers on all of my apps. This is so adorable, y'all. It's like a little jumpsuit. I might want that for myself. Okay, because the Walgreens was so close here, I was able to start my Instacart match from the Goodwill. So I can spend a couple of minutes still looking around. Look at this cool skirt. See what brand it is. Rue 21. <laughs> we'll just keep it going. Oh, that sunflower shirt is adorable. It's a LuLaRoe. Okay, let's talk about LuLaRoe, you guys. Because... 99.9% .9 of things LuLaRoe I don't pick up. I happen to know this one's worth money. So we're going to grab it and we're going to sell it. Um, but with LuLaRoe, certain patterns and certain um, items are worth a lot of money. And then most are not anymore, of course. Like, they went out of business. Obviously, I think everyone in the English-speaking world knows that. They went belly up. But, um... You know, used to when you found LuLaRoe at Goodwill, it was like a gold mine. Now, not so much. Um, it's everywhere I go. <laughs> the market is completely flooded with it, and it's so annoying. Because I don't like it. I think it looks like something threw up on the clothing. It's that ugly. But that's my opinion. Some people like it. I have a friend. Um she has worn it for years and years and she's little and she's so beautiful and she looks really cute in it I think that that's part of it like she's just so cute I think she can look cute in a paper bag but you know I just don't think it's cute um I will say the Disney pieces are cute to me I had a little mermaid tunic that I wore for a little while and it was really row but that's pretty much it like I just don't pick it up anymore, but this I will. It has sunflowers. I might even try it on because I'm obsessed with sunflowers. Like, if I find anything with sunflowers, I'll grab it. But this pattern itself, I've seen sell for a lot. Um, specifically because if I'm searching, sorry, help me. Um, did y'all hear that red tag ticket? Number 207, in case you guys wanted to know that. <laughs> that's cute um but anyway i just don't pick it up but i'm excited about this sunflower one i'm gonna look it up one more time before i leave because the market does change a lot and it might not be worth anything oh y'all look at this has to be homemade nope it's not hold on lisa jackson let's look that up real fast date lisa jackson is a children's brand that is um no longer a children's brand it is vintage it's selling for about $25 per dress and this dress itself is $3.99 so we're gonna pick that up of course I have had the best experience selling vintage dresses they do not last in my Poshmark closet for long they don't last in my Mercari for long I don't sell on eBay anymore because eBay kept raising their fees um, their standards like if you messed up one time and accidentally like sent out something that had a hole in it that you didn't see anything like that um they gave you a strike on your account and suspended your account like indefinitely so i stopped i stopped selling there but um vintage dresses there sold for me really well um but you know i'm not gonna do business with someone who does that i don't typically make a habit of sending out bad items i don't i check my stuff over i customer service is my thing like it is huge for me and i don't make a habit of you know having poor customer service and so they kind of ticked me off and i called them when they suspended my account for one little discre indiscretion and i deleted my account and i told them to 
just um, do away with it. So I don't buy on there or sell on there anymore. But that's my choice, just given the way that they've been the last few years. And I've sold on there since 2007, y'all. And it's just gotten that bad to where I was just like over it. And I don't miss it. It's I sell a lot on Poshmark and Mercari, so like I don't miss that. I don't need eBay for sure. Um, so that's just something if you're a new reseller, just be careful. Um, make sure that your customer service is a hundred percent because they will shut you down for no reason. And they didn't shut me down permanently, you know, it was just a temporary, I don't know, it was just like a week or something. I don't remember. This was months ago, but I just made the decision to sever ties with them because, what is this? These are cute little, look at the bottom of these cute little pants. They're probably not worth anything, but they're really cute. Nope, they're from China. Um, but regardless, I'll sell this dress on Mercari or Poshmark. I would be willing to guess it would be within the week. Um, especially with Easter coming up. It is plaid, but it has tulips on it. It's not like a Christmas dress or anything like that. Look at these quilts, y'all. Well, this quilt is... Yeah, someone made this. Look how cute that is. I think it's called a honeycomb quilt. Is that right? All you quilters weigh in. This one is super adorable. Oh my god. Look at it. This is like 70s fabric right here. I wonder what they have on it. $10? You're lying. I think I might grab this. Okay, you guys, here's an update. So, I went through my cart, looked everything up, and I started a new business model like a couple of months ago where I don't want to pick anything up that doesn't yield a $30 or more sale price or profit, either one, because a $30 sale price, if I pay $5 or less, it's pretty decent. So I looked everything up. Everything was $25 or below. <laughs> and I noticed some people that sounds crazy. Um, hang on, my radio is gonna go off. I'm gonna turn it down. Cause you're like $25, I mean, that's pretty good. But you know, I have spent years revamping my business model and just figuring out what works for me, right? Like I have sold on eBay since 2007. Then I made hair bows and I had a really successful like boutique business. And did you guys hear that? My car made the loudest noise and something crazy came across the screen on my radio and then it just went away. So I went back and listened to the video and like screenshot it because I don't know what the heck that was. That's never ever happened before. And I had to put my seatbelt on, but anyway, my business model is such that I don't want to sell anything for 30 or less. The quilt was in question. So I looked up vintage 70s quilt because this thing was clearly from the 70s, right? It was $10. And $10 is not a lot for a quilt no matter what. But I looked it up and like quilts are not going for what they used to. And I thought, you know, I don't want to sit on this thing. It's a quilt. It was so heavy. And my lazy behind did not want to ship it. So I literally put everything back and didn't buy anything. Is that hilarious? Oh my God, I'm at CVS. I went, I was supposed to go to Walgreens, but it's right across the street. So hang on a second. So with that being said, I walked out of Goodwill with nothing, empty handed. Um, I got up to the checkout and looked anyway and the line was long and they were having an issue. Like someone had to wait. And I was like, nothing in this cart is worth that. So I left everything hanging where people could see it if they wanted it. The new with tag stuff, especially. The Adidas shorts that I found, those floral ones, they were selling for 25 and I almost just bought them for my daughter because I think she would like them. But she has got so much stuff, you guys. Like, I don't want to buy her anything else new until she purges her closet and her dressers because that child, she's 16. She has stuff in there that's like got tags on it that she's never worn that's been in there for like a year. I'm not doing it. And I made her clean her room yesterday um, because I was like, you have to purge things. So she has a big pile that she purged. <coughs> but 
I thought I'm not gonna buy these shorts because she might think they're ugly. They weren't that cute, but they were Adidas and she likes Adidas. So I'm gonna go into Walgreens and do this Instacart batch. It's for one item and I'm getting paid $11 to go one mile. So I was like, I have to take this. I just looked on the batch and the one item they ordered was gas X. So they must have some killer gas to pay Instacart prices. That's crazy. They mark up everything and charge a delivery fee and it's like $7.99 things I hate buying on Instacart. I guess X probably is one. Um, pregnancy tests, COVID tests, plan B, anything to do with um, sexual things. People have ordered those online and I've had to go buy them and uh, deliver them. And I don't take those as a rule anymore <laughs> because I don't want to do them. Now for the right price, I would probably go in and buy anything. But if it's not paying well, I'm certainly not going to deliver things that I don't want people to see me buy <laughs> and I know to most people it's like well it's money and it's not for you but it doesn't matter like it's just weird anyway so here I go to deliver this gas X for this lady and I hope she feels better after that um I don't I haven't been this way too many times so it's cool to go a different way sometimes I guess but I'm gonna be near a Publix when I deliver so maybe I'll get a good batch down here it's 1103 central and i'm trying to hold out to 1 30 to eat and it's like torture but i have been distracting myself so hopefully i can hold out now i'm at let's see 5 30 i'm at almost 18 hours 11 30 will be 18 hours so i usually make it 16 easily and then anything beyond that is a stretch so to make it to 18 is pretty good if i make it to 20 i'll be insanely happy um because that's when you start to really reap the benefits of fasting so i'm hoping to make it to 130 and go to chicken salad chick that's my goal today you guys it's been a crazy afternoon um it's four in the afternoon here 4 18 central I'm headed home finally from working and going to Goodwill and I saw a car flip out in the country. I was delivering an order um, and it's the only way I could have gone to that person's house and we got stuck forever. This poor guy or woman, I don't know, I couldn't tell. They flipped a few times. It was so scary and they couldn't get them out of the car. Like I was sitting right there after it happened like watching them try to get this person out of the car before the ambulance and the fire trucks and such got there and when they the car from the other side came over and then we got to go um the fire truck and ambulance were just now getting there i mean it took them forever and the guy or girl was trapped in their car like it's been raining so they flipped a few times like I guess they hydroplaned and like flipped the car. At any rate, of course, I said a prayer for them because the lady that was at the driver door, she was frantic trying to get the person to like wake up and get out and crawl out of the window because the window was completely broken out and she was just shaking them. It was so crazy. I've never seen anything like that ever in my life. Um, other than we were on vacation in north carolina a couple of years ago i think it was like 2021 and my daughter and i literally saw a car slip into a ditch like we saw it happen um and the guy was just hanging out of the car like unconscious and everybody stopped to help him but other than that like i don't know this is crazy like it's the craziest thing i've ever seen and it's scary and like people should slow down and be careful especially when it's raining no one slows down um i go so far under the speed limit when it's like this because of my tires like i drive a honda accord and uh, accords and civics they have a high rate of hydroplaning just because of the tire size and everything and the low profile you know whatever it is so i try to be really careful but y'all it's been a day it's been so busy because we're supposed to get a winter storm tonight um in tennessee and kentucky now i don't know if that's gonna happen it doesn't look like it's gonna get cold enough but i'm not a weatherman so i don't know they're just calling for that we got some kind of like warning um that we're supposed to get two inches of snow tonight 
so we'll see um none of the weather models showed that until yesterday it was like so last minute like anyway but i'm headed home i just wanted to do kind of an outro and tell you guys my day was crazy um and that way i could upload my video tonight maybe while i'm relaxing um after this day that i've had and um i hope you guys had a great monday i hope yours was less crazy than mine because <laughs> it was kind of insane i got really wet i feel like a wet dog i'm gonna go home and take a bath and relax and watch the tv um 